Yo, hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So, in this video we're going to be trying to do all the Horde quests in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 4. So if you go to the quest right here, you'll find the Horde Rush quest right here. And these are all the Horde Rush quests. There's 9 in total, I believe. And they differ, of course, from quest to quest. So I'm going to explain everything uh, in-game as uh, fast and as easily as possible. Once you complete 7 of these quests, you will automatically unlock all of these rewards right here, which are uh, absolutely free. It's the wrap, the emoticon, and the pickaxe right here. So, to get into the Horde Rush quest, you need to go to the uh, creative map Horde Rush, which can only be found in the Buy Epic tab. So, you have to scroll down, scroll down even more, and even some more, until you find the Buy Epic tab right here, which are all the official maps by Epic themselves. Uh, there's actually a fake Horde Rush map uh, out there that people are playing. So, I recommend you go right here. So, we're going to go right here to Buy Epic. We're going to click Select. And as you can see, it has been uh, selected and we're just going to turn on uh, fill because some of these quests, they require you to be assisted by other players. So uh, other players will always help you like complete this quest. So let's click play and jump into a game. And I'm going to show you how to complete this quest as fast as possible. All right, here we are. So this is how the mode starts. So let me just swap my key, uh, key binds and all right, I'm just going to jump straight in. So we're going to loot up real fast. You grab some weapons because you are going to need those weapons. Trust me. You can either go to the middle of the PY where you're going to find like guaranteed uh, chests or you can just go ahead to other spots. That also works. Alright. Okay, these these look horrible. These are horrible weapons. We'll go over here. Try to open some of these chests. I'm going to show you how to complete the quests one by one. Okay. Yeah, this, this looks good. I do need an AR, but... Hmm. I guess we're going to have to... Let's see. Okay, so we'll go through the quest. Quest number one is to earn a 40 KO streak. Basically, you need to kill uh, 40 uh, zombies or cube monsters in a row. So whenever I kill 10, it's say 10. Whenever I kill 20, it'll say th uh, th uh, like 20. So on and so forth. We're gonna do that when the uh, when the monsters spawn, and we're gonna I'm gonna just keep um, keep loading as I explain. So next one is to deal melee damage to cube monster spawners. So for that, we're gonna wait until the uh, spawners come out. I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So as we wait for the uh, battle to start, which starts in 20 seconds, uh, as you can see, we're already completing this one right here, which is assist in opening chest in Horde Rush. So I opened like uh, four chests or five chests and the other, uh, like my other friends opened the rest and it's 10 out of 75. So that's getting there. Also accumulate team points. This one uh, will automatically complete itself as you play the game. So uh, deal as much damage as you can, kill as many zombies as you can. And the points will accumulate if you look at the right corner right there, it says 1,300. And together you will be uh, you will be like accumulating those points until you hit 1 million, which is a lot. Let me just open this. All right, so we'll go for the uh, spawner. So uh, for this quest right here, it says that you need to deal melee damage to cube monster spawners. So if you go, uh, if you look at the mini map right there, there's a purple point, and that's where we're gonna find these spawners. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of these really fast. I'm gonna go ahead and deal the melee damage to the spawner itself. So you can follow the trail of zombies to find the spawner also. So if I go here and I start pickaxing this, I will be dealing melee damage to it. And it should be uh, like it should be stacking. So if I go, if I click here, uh, melee damage, as you can see, 750 out of 6,000. So that's how you do that. So let's do the uh, 40k one. Come on. Here we go. So as you can see, it says 4 KO streak, 5 KO streak. It's not easy to do, but you can do it. There's also this one right here, which is to assist in collecting score multipliers. So if you looked at the map again, you will find a crystal, uh, a crystal like icon, and this is what the icon is like. It takes you to the bonus multiplier. It's simply collect it, and it will multiply literally like all the bonuses that your team gets as they as they like do the uh, like the quests and like get points. So that's one. Next one is to assist in opening a horde rush chest. We already did that. This one is to upgrade a weapon. This one we can do later. This one is to help defeat the boss. This is the final stage. This one is to hit headshots on cube monsters from at least 15 meters away. So we gotta aim for the head from 15 meters away. 
Oh, oh my god, <laughs> I fell down. That's embarrassing. So, I need to make sure I have enough distance between me and the monster, and then I'm just gonna aim for the head. As you can see, that's one. It's very important that there is at least 15 meters between you and the monsters. And it does help that they they already like make their way towards you. So, let's see. Yeah, there we go. That's two out of 100. Damn, that is a lot. <laughs> that is so much. Okay. Next is to eliminate cube monsters using explosives. We have a lot of those. We're just gonna use these explosives to eliminate the monsters. And there it is, as you can see. We'll throw this as well. Make sure they stay here. Maybe we'll bring them back here. Nice. So that's the explosive eliminations. And uh, I think that's all of it. All that's left is to upgrade the weapon and to uh, uh, and to help defeat the boss. So let's take this seriously and let's try to complete these as fast as possible, at least until next round. Just to show you guys that this is feasible. This will take some uh, some time, by the way. Like, you can do this in one game, I think. Like, you're gonna need more. Unless, of course, you have some really, really good friends that are very good at the game. And they can almost guarantee, uh, <laughs> like, the results. Okay. They should stop spawning in a couple of seconds. Okay, there we go. They stop spawning. Now we're gonna look for, uh, for weapons. Also, there's an upgrade bench back there. I did need this. Okay, we'll do this. We'll throw this away. We'll go to the upgrade bench right here. Go and upgrade our weapon. Regroup and gear up. Okay. So right here we're going to upgrade our weapon. Our main weapon. Basically the... Uh, oh, I need I need more shards. I need a lot more shards. 55. Damn. Okay. So you're going to need to be like uh, collecting a lot of shards. You need at least at least 25 for the first like rarity to be upgraded. And yeah, that leaves just one quest. Which is this one. To help defeat the boss at the final stage in Horde Rush. Hopefully we're gonna get there. I'm gonna try my best to help these guys get there. All right, here we go. Let's just go through the motions and just get through these, uh, get through these like uh, uh, stages. All right, here we are. So this is the boss fight, as you can see, and we got ourselves a nice little boss right here. And we're gonna just start dealing damage to him. He does have a lot of HP, by the way, and his, his attack does a lot of damage. But thankfully, I found myself this nice uh, Midas Mythic weapon. Let's heal up here. Alright, back to it. Nope, 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 nope. What is this guy doing? Stop fighting zombies, man. Focus on the <laughs> focus on the boss. <laughs> do I have enough for, to upgrade the, the shoddy? Nope. I need more. I do need more. Okay. Okay, that guy is focused at least. Always remember that if you get the boss low enough, your teammates will automatically just focus the boss. They know it's almost over and they will just do what they need to do. Oh my god, oh, oh, oh. you gotta be careful. Oh my god. You gotta be really careful. Actually, I can I can build. <laughs> I completely forgot. Okay. Almost dead. Come on, buddy. Ooh, the other guy died. He fell. Come on, dude, just accept it. Really? I'm out of bullets. There it is. Nice. Four of a kind. Beautiful. And yeah, let's see basic idea. <laughs> so let's just exit and see how many uh, points did we get or did we rack up in terms of quests. Uh, like I said, this might take you more than one game. Uh, I just try to do this one as fast as possible just to show you like the last boss just for the video. But if I were doing this like uh, solo on my own time, I would just, you know, spend my time collecting like uh, score multipliers and stuff like that. So as you can see, 
I already unlocked like the first one just by doing one of the uh, completing one of the quests. I didn't get a 40k KO streak because I kept like uh, inter interrupting like my streak for some reason. Uh, melee damage, I should have focused on that. But yeah, you get the gist of it. You, we got like uh, 300,000 team points, and uh, the team wasn't really that good. It was just you know standard team. So if you have a good team, you can do this in three games. Like three games, you complete the uh, team points right here. So make sure you complete these as you do it. So uh, score multipliers very easy. Just make sure to do the uh, the, the explosives one, especially if you find a rocket launcher, and of course the um, the headshot one, which I, <laughs> I completed. Apparently, I'm good at headshotting. Uh, but yeah, let's see basic idea. Just make sure to complete all of those and you will get all of these free rewards. I hope you guys found the video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have uh, any uh, problems with any of the quests, leave a comment. I'll, I'll, I'll answer it. I'll give you like the easiest way to do it. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.